Welcome back to another episode of Mob Cycle. Last episode was pretty wholesome. This came out of nowhere. I was looking down on this UFO alien arc, also thinking that, is this going to be our next threat? No, this is more of like a nice farewell send-off party for our little club that we technically really didn't do much in. Because all they did was fuck around, but it was a telepathy club. And the whole point was to, I don't know, have some kind of interaction with aliens eventually. And we did. I didn't think they would come. I think every, everybody knew they were going to come. They showed up. They're really cute. And then the most interesting part was the end like the last three minutes of the episode where the fuck did that come from it was like an entire story arc just in one three minutes and i was like holy shit what's going on but it looks like he lost all his memories when he came back other than i'd hope that he still retains the initial memories of like hanging out in the in the ufo but like not the entire duration of that post credit scene that was pretty crazy okay so we're trying to wrap up the arc now right i mean the season i think there was something about tsubomi going to a different school and mob is trying to figure out or at least ask her out right here's my guess and this is also based on a, like i think a lot of a, a couple of my uh, friends told me about the trailer and about how there's a lot of action that's about to happen so there's gonna be some kind of threat and the threat itself looking like gonna be mob why because i might be wrong just a guess he gets rejected by tsuomi and he goes berserk which i would hope that he's matured up and kind of anticipate that he would get rejected by tsuomi because they're not they're from a different world. There has never been a moment where she was really into him. It was more like, oh, hey, Mob, right? So we'll see what happens, but let's start the episode. Mob flexing his expert skills to Tsubomi. But she got bored of it really quick after a couple times, right? Wow. But... Oh, shit. We held hands back then? I mean, there's nothing romantic about this, right? It's just two kids just hanging out. But they hold hands? She's already moving. Already moving. We gotta make her move, dude. Why so fast? Other than to advance the plot and put Mob in this position. You gotta do it right now. It's now or never, Mob. I mean, even at the end of season two, when he was battling uh, Scar's boss, one of his main motivation was, I haven't asked out Tsubomi yet. I can't die yet or something, right? We haven't done anything this season. Make your move. This is the guy that went in this like the whole UFO story arc. If yeah, everybody is thinking the same thing, because I wonder how many people yeah, have a crush on her. Or not. I'm sorry. I think she's going to reject everybody. I, that doesn't really hold up. Uh, well, in terms of like fighting, what are you talking about? You can't just use that cloud either. What do you, what do you want us to do? I'm going to beat you up if you don't you know, go out with me? Like, it's not going to work out like that. Hmm. Show off your muscles to her? I don't think she would be impressed by muscles. Uh. Oh. It's more like, uh, inherit our will. I don't think it's about the muscles at the end of the day for Tsubomi, but if this is what encourages Mob and gets his confidence up, then yeah. What is it gonna be? Mm. No, I think it's honestly predetermined. There's nothing he can do at this point to change Kob like, uh, not Kobeni, Tsubomi's mind. It's either you've got it or you don't at this point. No amount of new hairstyle, new clothes is gonna help out. All right, here comes rejection one. Or maybe how many has it already been? I love you. Nice try. I'm sorry. I'm not interested. Do I really need to play this? <laughs> At least she's being honest. She's being honest. She's not leading anybody on. Yeah, look at this light up, man. Oh my god. How long has she been out here for, man? Everybody. <laughs> oh my god. We hardly ever get to, like, hear from Tsubomi's, like, perspective to her, like, POV. That's kind of cool. But I get it. Like, uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. There's, like, the entire school's gonna get their heart broken today. It's already predetermined, and I think we already know it's gonna be a rejection. Unless she actually says yes, that would be crazy. Maybe? I'm a little bit of copium. We're childhood friends after all, right? And every time she's... I don't know, it's just... She, she feels very neutral with us, I'm not gonna lie. I, I haven't seen a single moment where 
Tubomi was like overly excited for Mob. There was that one time. It was when he was helping her with the book, uh, restoring it. And Tsubomi said, nice one, Mob. Pretty cool or something like that. Besides that, there wasn't any other moments. Rikus, come on, give us some advice, man. He's not wrong though. Appearance is a very important part, especially in like those form formal years where everything feels a little bit superficial. It's not really about a deep connection beyond the outer looks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This might be actually pretty good advice. Ah, don't steal that advice from him, nah. No, what he said was pretty good though. But what do you like about her? Does he even know? What is it, Mob? Beyond a childhood crush, like, what is it? Yeah? What do you like about her? That she saw you for... Um, so she accepted your psychic powers? No, she already got bored. After I fought the first couple tries, she didn't get bored, but maybe she accepts Mob for who he is other than for the psychic powers? It's a pretty half-assed answer, Mob. But yeah, we gotta go for broke. We, there's nothing else we can do. Just say, Tsumi, I've liked you since I was a kid. Will you go out with me? That's it. That's all you can do. What are you gonna say? That's true, yeah. Uh, that's stuff that you would do beforehand. Yeah. 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 generic advice that probably will work. I'm sending them all to excite. Dude, you can't be cheating! Well, hey, he's trying his best. He's trying his best to help Mob. It's already, like, a predetermined. Yes, he's absolutely right. He's absolutely right. If she doesn't accept you for who you are, one day it's gonna catch up. Just be yourself. But is being mob himself, like, truly enough for Tsubomi? Because I feel like she's not interested in anyone here. Kind of true. I mean, personality-wise, look-wise. In terms of psychic powers, yes, but I don't know, man. Yeah. Oh boy, here we go. A present during a confession. That's gonna be even more awkward if we get like rejected, but you got a gift, and that's. Ugh. No, 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 no. Wow. Nice confessions. Do you get Teruma? <laughs> you gonna bring her onigiri, yeah? Maybe she would find some charm in the rice ball, though. I don't know. Wow, that's like just like you, Mob, to like prepare her onigiri or something. Maybe, not bad. I wonder if that, uh, the flower dude from the Ultimate 5 works here. No! No, not the, not the monkey t-shirt again. <laughs> I think Ritsu knows what's gonna happen. Maybe, I don't know. I would hope that... I hope he has confidence in love. Unlike me, that just already thinks it's over. <laughs> that was a lie, though. She confirmed that was a lie at the end of that episode. It was just to test Reagan to see if he was just talking, you know, bullshit or not. But what she, when we did at this point, that was really interesting, was she looked at the board of pictures where Mob was in it. And just because Mob was there with Reagan, she used that as a signal thing. He's probably a good guy then, just because Mob was there. Is that enough though? Is that really enough? And Richie does look so worried. Man, this is almost like he's going to war or something. Everybody's like... So worried for him. Saitama! You saw Saitama there. I love the little uh, One Punch Man references here and there. Oh, he's gonna call her? Oh. As in, I have something to tell you. Can we meet somewhere? Ooh. Oh shit, here we go. Is she gonna pick up? She did? No, it's Tsubomi's mom, probably. No. Oh, she is! No, we're not, we're not confessing right here, though, right? 
Mom's mom. Oh. Our boy's calling a girl. You don't want to say that out loud in front of your mom. Now she's going to be so hyped for you. So I heard a play, like a 200 people ask you out. Can I ask you out too? No, he's not saying that. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I have something to tell you. So. <laughs> uh... Oh, our poor boy is gonna get destroyed at this rate. I wonder what Tsubomi's thinking right now. She probably knows what's coming and she's probably... Is, is she thinking, is this annoying? Is this like a waste of time? Like, oh my god, I already am gonna de deny him, but... Uh, I hope that Tsubomi's a good enough person to not feel that way. Yeah, just a bit, man. No, it's super shaky. <laughs> about to do a voice crack. <laughs> please, God, please. Imagine it works out, though, right? Imagine she actually... I don't know. Takes her confession and says, Yes, I've actually always been interested in you. Because we have some kind of connection as children. Maybe. But I'm on some next level copium right now. Mm -hmm. The calm before the storm. That stress meter is still going up. Because you were scared, you just wanted to get other people's, you know, confirmation. It's perfectly natural. Oh, mob. Oh, what? I thought that it would usually hit him in the face and he'd be out, but he received that one. Oh, god damn. Maybe things are gonna be okay after all. No, I. I can't get my hopes up. I can't get my hopes up. I'm gonna get destroyed too if he gets rejected so hard. Please. Oh, he's getting the flower gift. A bouquet, please. Oh, wow. Fancy. It's not about to size. Hey, it's the guy uh, from the Ultimate Five, our flower dude. Oh, good luck. Oh, what? He's hooking us up. He probably has an idea what's going on. Use this instead of Tommy. MVP! MVP! But this is just gonna be a bigger disappointment if we bring a gift this big and she denies us. Well, better this than a small flower. Kid, you shouldn't be playing game with headphones in at an intersection. It's kind of dangerous. Oh, no, 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 no. Psychic powers. Yeah, we don't have to fucking run into traffic and save the kid like that. We got powers here. I thought the kid would be the run running to traffic, but no, it was a cat. Is that bad luck? Or is that... I don't know. Hmm. Okay, here's another one. Kid, kid no! Kid! No! So, Mob's pop- is he gonna run at the kid? No. What can you do at this time? Oh my god. He actually ran in. Now he's not gonna- Mob usually has like psychic barrier though. Unless it was not on? Oh, the flowers in the ground. No, the Mob should be fine. Because he's taken hits much harder than this before. But that's when he did have like, you know, some level of psychic- barrier up oh shit he's bleeding out the head i guess it's because it was so instantaneous that he didn't have time to like shield up just we're about to fucking confess that episode actually ended in a way i, I never expected i thought we were gonna like confess and just when we're about to confess then it would be like a cliffhanger but at this rate we're not even gonna be able to come oh wait wait i know what's gonna happen or maybe i do we're gonna go to a hospital but at the time mob opens his eyes who's gonna be at the bedside Tsubomi. And at that moment, maybe we confess or something? I don't know. I have no idea where this direction is going. But my guess still is that Mob is the final threat. And that's why there's something needs to be that something needs to trigger, you know, this final threat mob. And that's gonna be from Tsubomi's rejection. Or maybe that's too obvious of a guess. Maybe something entirely different is gonna happen. But things are getting pretty interesting. And I hope to see something, you know, fantastic happen to close out this amazing series of anime but hey if you stick around the song and if you enjoy my reaction you already know what i'm gonna say check out the other videos and playlists to my channel if you watch another video immediately after this one it helps the youtube i'll go push at my small channel to be recommended so that i have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors until next time guys take care